Hi, I'm Scamblin. Um, I'm the writer and director for Graduation, which is a short film that um, follows Ren, who is uh, in his senior year of high school, and he's trying to figure out a way to tell his best friend that he has feelings for. You know, several drafts back before I got to the um, final uh, version that we ended up filming. It was about these three friends the night before they graduated talking about, um, you know, basically why it is that they've grown apart. And I wanted to keep that idea of, you know, you have these friendships that like maybe run their course um, as you get older and as you um, start to have different interests and values. Um, but I also wanted to add something that was a little bit more, I guess, dramatic, um, which is why I ended up incorporating the idea that he actually had feelings for his friend and he had to find out, you know, find a way to tell him that before they both left for college. Um, so yeah, I guess as far as like my inspiration for it, it's, it's just something that like, I think we've all gone through in one way or another, even if it's not exactly the way that it's shown in the film, um, that you know, we want to hold on to certain relationships and friendships as long as we possibly can, especially when you're young and, you know, you don't know anything else. You know, I like to think that Ren goes off to college afterwards and he finds, you know, someone new, um, a new group of people, a new person to, to love that hopefully will love him back. Um, but at the time, I think it's really difficult for him to move on from that, from Eli. From the like first draft to the final film, I think was a little less than a year. So I think I started writing it in the spring of 2019 and like early summer of 2019. And then it was finished in Jan January of this year. Um, so yeah, as far as production, it was, we, we actually filmed it over the course of three days, two weekends, split over two weekends. Um, and I'm a college student, so we filmed actually on my campus at IU. We did a lot of, a lot of pre-production, and so we definitely thought we were going to be prepared, but as always happens, there were lots of things that ended up happening. Um, we had a lot of actors dropping out at the last minute, which was really frustrating. Um, and now looking back on it, I really can't imagine having different actors in the, those roles because they did such a good job with it. But at the time, I was like really panicking because I was like, oh, this actor dropped out and this actor dropped out. Um, and I ended up asking, so Robert, who plays Ren, the main character, was originally supposed to be a crew member because he's also a filmmaker. Um, but I ended up asking him, I knew that he could act and I'd worked with him before, so I knew that he would be um, able to do the role. And so I ended up asking him to step in and he was luckily a, a good sport about it. Um, and and yeah, now looking back, I cannot imagine anyone else in the role of Ren. Well, kind of going off of what I said about like the actors and everything, just being flexible and sort of trusting that things are going to work out. Not that, I mean, of course you want to do all the pre-production and like plan as much as possible because that will help. But I think, you know, the actors, um, you know, having other people step in and everything, uh, was important and, and just, you know, knowing that they'd be able to handle it. Um, also, like, you know, locations was kind of a similar sort of thing. Um, finding a location that, you know, had all the right things that we were looking for. Um, originally, I had planned something, you know, different, and then we ended up kind of at the last minute again trying to find um, a location and ended up working out perfectly. But, yeah, I think, I think just flexibility, um, and having a group of people around you who you can really trust, I think also helps a lot. Um, and I've worked with those same people that I worked with on graduation several times since. Um, they're a great group of people. So yeah, I, I guess those are the things that I learned from it. I suppose it sort of depends um, who the audience member is. I think that it can like definitely have very different interpretations um, based on like what that person's life has been up until this point. Um, so for younger people watching the film, I hope that they'll understand that it isn't, you know, the end of his life. It's not like the last person that'll ever love or anything. He will go on 
and you know maybe find people who value him more maybe find people who share his same interests more um you know eli is at this point in their lives a very different sort of person that he cares about being popular he cares about what other people think about him a lot more than than run does um so for for younger people i would hope that they would uh understand that if they've gone some through something similar that they are also going to go on and find people who are maybe better for them. Um, but for older audience members who, you know, maybe have already graduated high school, um, I would say kind of like you mentioned earlier, um, that I guess I would want their takeaway to be, you know, to remember back to similar experiences that they had. We could be on this question for a while. I, uh, as far as directors that I like, um, David Fincher is one of my favorites. Um, Mike Nichols, who of course uh, directed The Graduate, which is sort of, um, you know, similar vein of film as Graduation. They also have similar titles. <laughs> and um, Nora Ephron, I like a lot as a writer and director. Um, Gosh, yeah, it's so many. Um, I think also one of my inspirations for this film particularly was um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, um, which was a book and then was adapted into a movie. Yeah. And I always, I mean, I remember watching that as a teenager and just thinking like, wow, this is the first time that a movie has like really uh, captured the young person's experience without it seeming sort of cliche or, um, you know, overly tropey. And so that was just a film that was very meaningful to me. Yeah, so COVID has definitely made things uh, different and tougher for independent filmmakers, I think, um, because even though big productions are starting to go back now, it's a little bit harder for like low budget or independent films. Um, so I, I don't really have any like films that I'm planning on doing this fall. I'm sort of waiting to see what happens um, with restrictions in, here in Indiana where I am and everything. Um, but I would say that I've taken this, it's re really been a great opportunity to write a lot. Um, and I do consider myself probably primarily a writer even more than a, a director. And so um, in that sense, it's been really great. I've gotten to develop um, more like feature films and also try, uh, try writing fiction as well, like prose fiction. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still, creating things just in a slightly different way. <laughs>